The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs continues to assist patients of non-communicable diseases with the management of their conditions at home. Hamadi Mark has the latest. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs is drawing focus to the importance of cardiovascular care and mitigating risk factors in people living with non-communicable diseases. A primary tool utilized by the Ministry to promote cardiovascular health is the HOTS technical package. Dr. Shana Sir explains the functions of the program. The HOTS technical package, a module of the Global HOTS initiative, provides a framework for implementing the integrated management of non-communicable diseases through cost-effective interventions. The HATS technical package, through strong political will, was first implemented in six sites in 2020 and has been expanded to, to include two new sites in 2021. Over the past 20 months, and despite the many challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. Tremendous effort has been placed in assessing and improving the implementation and success of HOTS in St. Lucia. Through the HOTS technical package, the ministry has introduced the Chronic Care Passport, designed to empower individuals living with chronic diseases and enable them to play an active role in their health care. Principal Information Officer, with the Denry Hospital, Yolanda Alcindor provides insight into the chronic care passport. This booklet is used as an educational tool for the healthcare workers, persons living with chronic conditions, and their families. It helps individuals to self-manage their chronic condition. The passport is very colorful and interactive. Some of the topics addressed in the passport or what to expect at each visit, healthy eating, physical activity, food care, how to manage diabetes and hypertension, what tests are to be done and how often, the normal values of blood tests, example, blood sugar, cholesterol, etc. It allowed individuals to also record the glucose level and hypertension, um, high blood pressure recordings when done at home and individuals can set goals and compare how they are doing with the, va the normal values. The Ministry of Health recently held the HOTS Awards. The ceremony recognized the diligent work of healthcare workers at St. Lucia's HOTS sites and promoted the use of chronic care passports. The awards were judged based on blood pressure control at the sites during a 12-month period in 2020. The Babano Wellness Center received the highest total score. The highest average blood pressure control, first, second, and third places, were awarded to Iktang's Wellness Center, Lafag Wellness Center, and Tiroche Miku Wellness Center, respectively. Lakwa Health Center received the most improved award. From the Government Information Service, I'm Humidi Mark reporting.